Hey guys, so this video is super basic developer guide. I'm gonna show you how you can use the terminal or the command line. Along with this video as well, I have an article version that you can check for my cheat sheet. So yeah, this is a beginner's guide, nothing so fancy, but if you are starting out, then this would be a good video for you. So yeah, let's jump in. One, two, three. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you is a basic command line just to get you started how to use terminal and you know work on your visual studio so you don't need to do it manually. So first is you need to open your terminal um, just use um, search and for the windows I think you type in CMD I'm just not sure but for Mac just um, search click the search icon and type in terminal and then currently um, we are in the root directory of the um, of the um, of my laptop which is this one now, if you want to go in like we need to know what's the directories or list of directories of my root um, directory hope that makes sense so I'm gonna type in li ls to see what are the directories and these are the directories so far and what we want is I want to create a folder inside my desktop in here so we'll type in desktop and let's say let's just type in um just different let's type in different um folder first so let's say you type in cd i'm oh, sorry you, you need to put in cd so you can go into the directory itself to the directory folder so let's say you go into the um you um accidentally type in, in the wrong folder and you want to go back to the to the to the root directory so what you can do so if i type in ls dropbox that's not what we need we need to go into the desktop folder so what you can do is just go in cd to go back to the root directory so again ls which is the least directory so that these are the least of my root um directory and then i just want to go into the desktop and I want to create so let's just clear this first to clean it up so let's say you want to create a folder so to do that just type in mkdir and then the name of the folder that you want to create so let's say projects 2023 so if you notice in here there's already a project 2003 2023 created now I have this tech exercise that is an empty folder if you want to delete that you can just type in R M R. So here's the thing. Um, let's say first. Actually, I'm gonna. And uh, never mind. I'll just put in uh, the the command line. I have. I'm gonna create a link. Um, a cheat sheet on my article version for your guide. But there's two command line for removing a folder, which is um, you can remove a folder if it. Um, if you want to remove the, the entire content of the folder, you need to use this line, which is RMR. And then the name of the folder, tech exercise. But anyway, I'll send it to, I, I'll put it on the article version for your reference. So the folder is ready created. Now, let's say I want to open the projects 2023 on my Visual Studio Code. So we'll go back to the project directory which is cd and then you type in the folder projects 2023 we're already inside the folder and as you can see if i double tap this one it's an empty folder now we will then type in code dot to open the visual studio code now if you notice in here it says command not found code which means the bashed or the PowerShell router is not um, is not accepting this code, so we need to register it. We need to install it in a Visual Studio Code. So what we need to do is open again the Visual Studio Code in here. We'll open the Visual Studio Code, and then we'll go into the run and go into the actually go. Hold on, it should be yeah. You click on the go, you or click the search bar, and you type in um show run commands and then you type in i forgot it's called shell 
command, I think. Yeah, here. So it's called shell command. And right now we just need to install the, the code command in path. So you double tap that and you click on OK. And then normally if you are using a, you know, if you are using a Mac, it will ask an admin access. So let me just put it over there. And then OK. So shell command code successfully installed in the path. So I'm going to click OK and close the, the Visual Studio code. And I'm going to try to run again the command line called code and enter. Oh, wait, it's not working. Hold on. Clear. So let's type in. So voila, so the Visual Studio code is ready open. Again, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of way for you to um, instruct the terminal. And I'm gonna put in on the link description below for reference that you can just copy paste. So yeah, hope it helps. And if you have any question, don't forget to comment down below or yeah, message me. Thank you and have a great day.